television. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the Tunisian President, BG Qaad Al Sibsi, and their wishes for him for health and happiness and for the Republic of Tunisia further progress and prosperity. This came during the Tunisian president receiving the foreign minister, who is on an official visit to Tunisia. The president expressed pride in the relations linking Bahrain and Tunisia, affirming Tunisia's support for Bahrain under all circumstances. For his part, the minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed, lauded the strong brotherly relations linking Bahrain and Tunisia, affirming the kingdom's keen desire to further enhance such relations for the benefit of the two countries. The minister added that Tunisia represents a civilized image of the Arab world and plays an important role within the Arab nation. The Tunisian president asked the foreign minister to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his appreciation for Bahrain's stance towards Tunisia. He wished the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The chairman of the Tunisian parliament, Mr. Mohamed Nasser, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohamed Al Khalifa. The foreign minister expressed pride in meeting Mr. Mohamed Nasser, affirming the Kingdom of Bahrain stance with the people of Tunisia. The minister lauded the political transition process in Tunisia and the political and civil freedom the people of Tunis enjoy. He also lauded the role of the Bahrain Tunis Parliament Brotherhood Group in developing parliamentary cooperation between the two countries. For his part, the chairman of the Tunisian parliament expressed pride in the brotherly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Tunisia and their people. He affirmed that bonding among the Arab nations is the base for progress of Arab countries and meeting the interest of their people. He praised the openness as well as the unique international relations Bahrain enjoys. The sixth joint session of the Bahraini-Tunisian Committee was opened in Tunisia under the chairmanship of Bahrain's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and his Tunisian counterpart, Mr. Khamis Al Jihnawi, in Tunis. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Tunisia enjoy strong brotherly relations that is based on love and appreciation between the leadership of the two countries and their people. He added that such strong relations is witnessing development in the various fields due to the keen desire to push forward the bilateral cooperation as well as coordination between the two countries toward the various regional and international issues. Sheikh Khalid added that the meeting between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Tunisian President during the latter visit to Bahrain last January left a positive impact in alleviating the bilateral relations between the two countries. Sheikh Khalid went on to say that the Joint Committee meeting indicates the directions of the leadership of the two countries and their keen desire to consolidate joint cooperation towards a wider future horizon. He added that continuing to hold brotherly meetings contributes in Arab bonding as well as overcoming the challenges for the purpose of achieving security and stability for Arab countries. Sheikh Khaled renewed Bahrain's stance towards Tunisia in the efforts and measures it takes in combating terrorism and maintaining its security and stability. He lauded the political transition in Tunisia and its pioneering democratic experience. For his part, the Tunisian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Khamis Al Jihnawi, affirmed that the Bahraini Tunisian Joint Committee represent a true determination to push relations towards forward in the various fields. He made reference to the meeting between His Majesty the King and the Tunisian President in Manama last January and lauded Bahrain's stance towards Tunisia. He also lauded the success and progress Bahrain has made as a result of the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. He affirmed Tunisia's stance towards Bahrain in all the measures it takes to combat terrorism and safeguard its security and stability. During the joint committee meeting, 15 memorandums of understandings were signed in areas 
including industry, agriculture, energy, media and culture, as well as education, customs and urban planning. Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed arrived in Tunisia early this morning on an official visit. He was received by the Tunisian Minister of Foreign Affairs. The head of the Tunisian government, Dr. Youssef Ashahid, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who is on an official visit to the Republic of Tunisia. During the meeting, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed affirmed that Tunisia represents a successful political model, one that leads to stability and economic social development. He affirmed Bahrain's stance towards Tunisia and its people and lauding the result of the Bahraini-Tunisian Joint Committee meeting, adding that such results will open new horizons of cooperation in various fields. For his part, Dr. Yusuf Shahid expressed appreciation for Sheikh Khaled's visit, affirming on the keen desire of the Republic of Tunisia to further develop the bilateral relations for the joint interest of the two countries. He highlighted that the government will pay considerable attention to developing relations as well as investments between the two countries. Views were also exchanged during the meeting including means of further bolstering the brotherly relations between the two countries and political, economic and various other fields. This is in addition to discussing the latest development in the Arab region. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the positive response of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdelaziz Al Saud, to the request of Yemen's President Abdurrabbu Mansour Hadi to the coalition forces to support the legitimacy in Yemen to halt all military activities for 72 hours to facilitate humanitarian aid flow to reach all the Yemenis throughout the country. The Kingdom affirmed the need for all sides to remain committed to this truce in order to make negotiation resumption possible for the sake of reinstating stability and peace for the brotherly Yemeni citizens. The Kingdom of Bahrain reiterates its unflinching stance and support for the legitimacy in Yemen until the government led by President Abdurrabu Mansour Hadi becomes able to bring under control all the Yemeni territories and reach a peaceful political settlement capable of putting an end to the sufferings of the Yemeni people and preserving the country's security, stability and unity. A settlement that should be commensurating with the agreed references which are the Gulf Initiative and its executive mechanisms, the outcome of the National Dialogue and Resolution 2216 of the United Nations Security Council as being the true real assurances for a peaceful and permanent settlement between all the sides in the Republic of Yemen. And a brand new local event which is set to become a major part of the annual public events calendar opened yesterday at Bahrain Bay. The Sea Festival aims to educate and entertain families from Bahrain and overseas with multiple attractions. Daniela de Porto brings us more in this report. Bahrain's first Sea Festival opened last night at Bahrain Bay with a visit from the event's patron, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Al Zayani, alongside Arab Tourism Organization President, Dr. Bandar Al Fahed, and Chief Executive of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa. Organized by the BTEA, in partnership with Bahrain Bay, the festival aims to showcase Bahrain's rich historical link to the sea and the industries which have derived from it, in order to convey this heritage to future generations. It's a festival that concentrates on our, our heritage of the sea festival, the pearling era, and also combines the future. The idea is to, that it's educational, technology involved, interactive. Uh, the, the idea is to promote Bahrain we, and also support the local uh, craftsmen. We have uh, live uh, DAOs uh, craftsmen over here and we also invited 12 uh, fishermen with their DAOs in Bahrain Bay. We also uh, take this privilege to um, thank Bahrain Bay for supporting us on this project. Attractions include a 3D underwater simulator, a virtual reality zone, a digital interactive aquarium, multimedia gallery displays, a cinema, a food court and live entertainment, including nightly boat displays. Furthermore, the event features a range of local artisans demonstrating their traditional crafts. The event will be open to the public from 5 to 11 p.m. nightly until October 29th, with entrance set at two dinars. The Sea Festival uses cutting-edge modern technology to convey a centuries-old history to Bahrain's children, while at the same time supporting established artisans in the country. And it should attract many tourists to boot. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto.